What's up guys, my name is ESO and today I'm going to show you how to get the unique excavator power armor in Fallout 76 and how to get all the crafting materials you need to build it because it took me a day to farm everything I needed to make this. Unlike most power armors in Fallout 76, the excavator version cannot be found in the game world because it was actually a prototype developed by Garaham Mining that never reached production, which makes it extremely rare because you can only actually build it yourself. The excavator power armor actually has a secret effect that no other power armor has in the game, which makes it even more unique. If you equip both the left and right arms of the excavator suit, it will increase the amount of ore you get when harvesting from a mine deposit. Obviously, raw ore materials can be found all over the game world as you're exploring, and they're a very valuable resource in creating high-level materials used in crafting. So you may want to consider just crafting both arms for this purpose. Now the armor itself gives a total of 400 radiation resistance, which basically reduces the radiation you take by 36%, compared to a hazmat suit, which would reduce your radiation resistance by 92%. The excavator power armor also gives you a, a total physical armor of 286, and an energy resistance of 260, and has a combined weight of 71 which doesn't really matter because considering power armor is weightless while on a frame, it's irrelevant. Now you can only wear the excavator power armor at level 25, just like the T45 power armor. But in comparison, the excavator power armor is actually the best power armor you can have at level 25 since it has better resistances to energy weapons and physical attacks. And obviously it looks so much cooler, especially the arms. Now to get the excavator power armor, you must go south from Vault 76 all the way to the south edge of the map here, around the Ash Heap area, where you will find Garahan Mining Headquarters. I wouldn't bother coming here unless you're level 20 or in a group, since there are a lot of high level enemies that can spawn here. Now as you can see there is a giant treehouse which I'll also be showing you how to get the keycard to as a bonus tip, but from here we want to head under the car park through this door. And then we're going to go right downwards into the darkness. This is the fast way to avoid all the enemies. Once we're inside though turn left and drop down the big hole in the centre of the car park. And then we're going to head right down the tunnel to the south. At the end of the track you're going to find a minecart and there's an entrance on the left here to the foyer. Now this area will be full of either robots, ghouls, miners or super mutants. I've already killed them all for the purpose of this video though. Head down the stairs and straight to the other side of the room where you'll find an office. Now you can actually pick up the Garahan Estate Access Keycard on the desk, which allows you to use the lift to gain entry to the treehouse, which is a pretty awesome location that I wish I could build a house in. And there's always a bunch of high level loot in this room and a boss chest equivalent. I've already looted pretty much everything, so I'm just going to show you where it all is. But if you guys are enjoying these extra tips and hints, let me know by liking the video, or you can even check out the playlist linked below in the description for more secret in-depth weapon and armor guides. When you're finished looting, head out of the office and take the second right and head straight down the stairs. It looks really confusing, but if you're going downstairs, you're going the right way. Now there's even a full set of power armor down here, as you can see the power armor frame is just here, and you can grab that if you didn't bring your own. You also find lots of toolboxes and desk fans and things that you can harvest with screws that you're going to need to build this power armor. If you look very carefully, there's even a full set of T45 power armor that sometimes spawns down here. But we want to go into the other room to unlock the excavator power armor blueprint. We need to access this terminal on the desk in the center here and then click on the excavator power armor blueprint and boom. Now you can go ahead and craft the power armor at one of these power armor stations. So now you know how to craft it, you can get back in your power armor and walk it over to the workstation. There's a few already in this room. 
If you exit next to the workstation, then the option to craft it will then appear. This may seem kind of obvious to some of you, but honestly, if you're new to this game, it does such a poor job of explaining this to you. But that's only half the battle, because now you need to find all the crafting materials needed to craft it, and a lot of them are very hard to find and farm unless you know where to look and what to do, like screws, oil, and black titanium. So what I've done, guys, is I've left a guide in the description below on how you can farm all of these crafting materials really quickly and efficiently without wasting your time. I thought I would make separate videos about them because otherwise I'll be repeating myself in every other video telling you how to get each crafting material. But guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Please take the time to subscribe if you did and press that bell icon and then YouTube will let you know every time I have a new weapon or armor guide or even when I'm live streaming because I've been doing a lot of funny PvP trolling videos recently and oh boy, they are hilarious to watch. But don't take my word for it. Check out the funny moments video I've made linked below as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, he wants some. Oh, he's almost dead. He's dead. Get wrecked. Oh my god. What, what the? <laughs> Oh! <laughs>